It's Mark from Reaper Salvage. I wanted to start today on the body mounts on the Model A. So basically the formula I'm following is you can hop over and look. It's, it's what Full Moon Garage did. Uh, I haven't watched a whole lot of their videos, but uh, they did a really good job mounting that body on that mod lay on that page. So that's, that's what this platform's here for. So, you know, these are basically like Mustangs, just add 30 years. Everything you wanna do has been done. You know, it may not all be on one project, but you can find all the pieces to build your Lego house, you know. So you can find all the projects spread out to get what you want. You don't have to reinvent the wheel or anything. So uh, it's a it's a 31 Model A body, um, and it's a Brooks chassis. And if you want to look them up, they make pretty good chassis. Uh, you can look them up on Facebook. Uh, I got it all in a deal. I used to run SCCA. I had an 85 Mustang. And then I had kids, and it gets harder to dedicate a whole day of prep and then a whole day of going out to the event and then, you know, cleaning up from the event the next day and then anything you broke or it just takes a, little, a lot away from, you know, family time. So uh, I'll get back into it when they get old hopefully. Um, but I ended up trading the car for this project and it's a 32 chassis Model A body and I have to mount it. It's fully boxed so you got to weld everything on or drill it in to get mounts. There's no prefab mounts because they don't know what you're gonna use and they don't know how you're gonna do it. So it's not on there, it's just up to you. Um, but I'm gonna follow Full, Full Moon Garage's formula, the recipe, if you will, um, cause it works. I might fancy it up a little bit, but what they did works and that's what I'm gonna use. Let me get this in the air and I can show you where everything's gonna go. First off, before I have to put it in the air, these feet have to come off and it'll actually get cut through here and clear here. The biggest problem is because how these bodies were mounted, it creates a gap right here because it doesn't belong on here. And the wood in there is too high, so you have to cut the wood down. I'll end up going with three quarter inch planks cut to all these slots, but this has to come off and then this whole section comes down. This will get cleaned up later, don't worry about that. You know, all it, it's almost a hundred year old vehicle. It's gonna have some rust on it. So, but I'll get it in the air and I'll show you the other side. So this is where that foot hits. And with this kick up, it's just pushing that up. You kind of want it to lay flat with this. And then this board needs to get cut down so it brings the body down. And then all this will just get boxed flat again. And then you can move your hole over, and drill it. Oop. Sorry about that. This whole foot gets cut off and it'll be welded in flat. And then this hole gets moved over to where it's actually on the frame. This board will get a thinner board. And then all this comes down. And then here you'll get a board. Oh, here you'll get a board. And then there'll be a foot that matches up to this hole. Same about here. And then as you can see the back, I had to cut out because of how this these frames are they're designed. So I have to from here back, I'll have to rebuild the subframe. And all this up here that's cut out was very rusty. So that had to come out anyways. So I cut that out too. And then that will get 
rebuilt and all these structures will be tied back in and you can see that structure right there will get tied back in and then there's the same over here so and then once i do that it will once i do all that it will set up for me to start building floors and to be honest i don't know yet what i'm going to do with floors because i raised the rear end up when i made the trans mount and it hits here so i'm gonna reshape this and it will just follow i need to put me in a drive shaft to see if i have to raise this one but i don't think i do but i want to know i want to know before i'm building floors so i don't like doing work twice so but that being said i want to get it set up you can watch me move fast and i'm going to start start up front cutting those out and getting that block of wood out of there if I get the fronts cut and I get it set into place today, then I can go and get the wood. And I already have the metal for all the, the mounts. So I can go get the wood and I can start making a template to box that front. Once I get that all done, I can get start cutting up blocks and setting them in place and mark their holes. And then once those holes are marked, I can mark them in the frame. I can pull the body completely off. I can drill the frame and weld in uh, some form of nut. Not a nut, sir. I don't trust that, but I'll take an actual nut and drill the hole, maybe something with a shelf and then I can just clearance it in the wood and then we can bolt it back together. But we'll put it on, on old speedy and you can see me start cutting stuff up. All right, so I got all that stuff cut out and I got those two blocks out of the front. They were on there pretty good. Um, and I went and I got some oak and cut it down to the width that those factory blocks were. And these are my two front blocks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fully make these and install them before I make my little filler piece for the front. 
you can see right there. It needs a filler piece, and I'll show you more later. But this is what I got. I went with from. Let me grab a factory one. Factory ones are pretty thick, but they're made for the Model A chassis. So you're not just gonna call up your Model A supply and get shit that you can put on 32 chassis. So I took, and I got something that's three quarters of an inch. Once again, that, uh, that other video, that's what the guy had used on his. So, but when I put mine together to where it's at, I clamped it down and that's the clearance between the bottom of the sub rail and the frame. So three quarters of an inch. And you get that nice sunken down, sitting over the edge look that you want instead of having those goofy ass gaps. So I'm gonna set these in there. I'm gonna have to gnarl out for uh, that piece right there that's all boogered up from the last one. But I got a gnarl out for that because that's where a bolt goes. And from there, I can set it up in there, mark where my two holes are, pull it back out, drill the holes, and then put it back in. And at that point, I'll have it ready to where I can mark the frame to for when I pull the entire body back off. But the first three bolts are the hardest ones. After that, it's basically cut these bad boys, slide them in, make my bottom pieces, drill from the top, and then bolt it in. And then I'm done all the way to the sub rails. And then the sub rails, I gotta make stuff. So, but you know, that's, that's the fun part, you know? This is the crap, I'm trying to get the crap out of the way before, you know, get to the fun stuff. But, all right, I'm gonna switch it over to time lapse. And uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna switch it to time lapse. I'm just gonna make this stuff because what are you even gonna see? I, I... All right, I, so here we are. Got my little plates made, or plates, uh, chunks wood for this project. They're sitting in there. It sits down, it's all even side to side. This one over here. And then uh, it gives it a nice, can't see through there anymore. You know, it looks good. I'm happy with it. And then like all these little edges can get knocked down, but it's like, it's on there now. And uh, I can move on to making the blocks for here, let's see. here, and here, here, and here. And then that will do it, that will do it as far as what's already here. Then I can, then I can come back and make, stepping on a bunch of shit. Then I can come back and all this I cut out. Where am I? Mm, yeah, there we go. All this I cut out right here. I can make a plate and kick it up and weld that in and put a bolt in there and drill it straight in. And there'll be a bolt that goes right here. I'm only gonna do one. It, it's a tiny body. It doesn't really need like 30 attaching points, you know? I did a truck cab, it got four points. It didn't go anywhere, you know? So I'll put basically what it asked for, kind of, and then, you know, do probably two, maybe one. It'll probably be two. It'll probably be one in the front of the rear axle, one behind it. And then I'd put one, two, three, four, five, six per side, that's 12. 12 is going to hold this thing down, especially when, you know, two of them are going into the frame. So I'm going to get on that, and I'll show you when the blocks are cut for that. So today, 
I'm gonna start making the brackets to bolt the second position, second body bolt position made. I'm, I got the blocks made for that area yesterday and I need to make these and get them bent up and then clean off the frame and weld them in and then I'll have one position sandwiched on. But I got a plasma cut uh, out some eight, uh, eighth inch and then bend it up somehow because my brake's not gonna bend 18 gauge is as wide as this. I mean, I'll give it a try, but last time it broke. So gotta find all those weak spots in that, uh, and them clutch tools. So I'll give it a try on there, but I don't think it's gonna bend it. And worst case, I'll just lock it in the uh, the vise and just hammer it over with a really big hammer. But uh, let's get at it. Get your steel there, okay. So, got those bent up, and they will sit right in here. I had to angle them, so, cause the frame, fr the frame isn't flat this way, it flares to the rear, so I had to angle the, uh, the design, or else, if I'd have just done it flat, it'd have been like, get you in a position where you I can see what I'm doing. It would have sat like that. You know, and I, I couldn't live with that. All right. You know, go, it's square. Square. Lines go this way. Got to get lines this way. So, had to do that. Now, I just got to drill the hole and we'll clean the frame, weld it on. But I got an appointment to get to. So, we going to do that later or tomorrow. America. I wanted to stop and let you know where I'm at. I got the four center, or it's like mid rocker and then behind the seat. I got those brackets made, got the wood cut, got those put on, and <clears throat> then I remade the feet for the front, and it was just a bunch of finagling, so it's I didn't record it. And I got those welded in and I can show, I'm about to pull the body off and then I can finish weld the feet. 
I can also drill the frame. I took a piece of welding rod and sharpened it and stuck it in the holes and it's black paint over 2K, so it scrapped a little circle. And hopefully it lines up. I'm gonna take some, some nuts and lock them together and then put that in a drill. Lock, lock them together on a screw and then put that on a drill and put that in the vise and then take a grinder because I don't have a lathe and just get it up to speed and then make them round. Then I'll drill the holes and chamfer the edges, tap them into place. Somebody's showing up. Uh, tap them into place and then I can TIG weld that chamfered edge and I'll have a nice threaded piece in the frame. So, <clears throat> gonna do that. Then I can take and I can put the body back on after I've re uh, finished welded the feet. Uh, so body back on, bolts in. I need to get a welting, which is like, looks like a canvas belt with some gunk on it that makes it weather resistant, I guess. That will sit on top of the frame and then I can pop holes in it wherever the, the pass-throughs are, but it just prevents metal on metal contact, <coughs> which will be nice. But I get that done and get all, all those bolted in, then I'll have eight body bolts in, and then I can start building the subrails. So but it's just a lot going on and uh, it's boring, boring things to tape. So I didn't, let's get at it. All right, got her up in the air, and it's just kind of finagled in there. Got some 550 cord going back and forth, because there's not really a good place to pick these up, and I'm sure there's going to be some Model A guy jumping there. You ain't got to do this right here. I ain't doing none of that. So 550 cord holds paratroopers in the air, so uh, it's good enough for flimsy-ass Model A. And then the front, I just picked up at the A pillar or the top of the door and hopefully it doesn't fuck anything up. But now I can get to drilling these holes and filling up the last of these feet. I'll get back at it. Hey, so I wanted to wrap this video up. Kind of been out of the loop for a while. This video kind of took up a lot of time because it started to snap off cold here. Before it got really cold, I wanted to get that installed. I won't cover that because I'm not a licensed gas line installer or electrician or any of that shit. And I don't want to do, I don't know what I did wrong other than uh, following the directions. So I don't want to steer anybody wrong and then be like, well, he ended up killing my, my, my petunias or whatever the hell. So read the instructions in the book if you get one of those. But I had to put a heater in my shop. I didn't want to deal with the, uh, the torch heater anymore. But uh, I got this all mounted and I've actually started. I'll cover that in a second. So you get, you get your holes like you'll, you'll see in the video, I got I got the uh, I got the nuts welded into the frame, 
once all that's lined up, start at the front. Every, everything, all your bolts are just sitting in there. Nothing's tight, nothing's got any tension on it. Start tightening at the front. Because I ran into a problem, I welded those front ends on, I welded these, these fronts on, and they weren't high enough. So I had to go back and pie cut and push that piece up and then weld it again. I need to come back and smooth it out once body comes off the paint. Um, start up front, get all your bolts in the front because what that does is the pulling down of the cow raises this body line, which allows the door to close good. And if you can see right now, and there we go. It closes really easy. You know, I'm not putting any effort on it. You know, I'm not slamming it like a pickup truck or something, but that's what gets that. Cause I hadn't took enough out of the front on that, that pedestal very front piece that I made where I cut out on the model, the model A, the bottom dips down and the frame dips up. So they don't go together. And it makes like a little spot where you can put your hand in there. It just doesn't look right. So cut that out, welded the other piece in. Doors were, they were like probably, it was probably sagging like this far. And you could lift up on the door and get it to close, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, you know, you know, sim simple. And it's not jumping back onto the, the, the half lock. It's, you know, I, ha I had an alarm go off. Um, yeah, it's, it's closing like it should. It's not hopping back onto that half lock, you know. You could probably really limp wrist it and it'll jump back like that. But like a brand new car is going to do that. So um, I got that done. I, I started on this and this is what I'm going to move on to with the next video is making the sub rails where it ties in here. And let's see bring it into this because this is this is where the sub rail goes to it it starts starts here and it goes here and i can actually come around and you can see better like right there so with my finger there we go there we go but yeah that and then you have to tie it in but in the Model A's frame configuration, there's not that kick up. So you can go in a straight line and you can't do that with the 32 chassis. So they have kits out there. I don't have all this stuff to buy kits, you know, when the kits like, one of the kits I found that was really nice was like $500. Now that kit doesn't involve anything that raises the sub rail to the level and it's a nice kit i'm not going to mention who it is because off the top of my head i don't know who it is uh but i don't have all this metal equipment and metal laying around to not build this stuff myself so i'm going to build my sub rails you can buy the kit if you want to that's really on you it'll save you a lot of time but you're still going to have to make some kind of pedestal if you're running a 32 chassis uh so i'm gonna wrap this up like and subscribe and I'm gonna get on the next video. And once I finish this one up, then I can move on to finishing the, the doors uh, or the door panels on the truck. Cause I know I, I said something about that in an, another video, I gotta get on that too. So uh, like and subscribe, have a nice day.